This video is about the basic installation of PHP Mailer and getting it to work. In the next video, or maybe you know a future video, I'm going to be talking about actually using it in the Help Me app. This is the web page where the documentation for PHP Mailer is. Uh, if you go to Products, PHP Mailer, um, for example, here they describe all the methods for the PHP Mailer class. Now, the place where it gets downloaded is actually different. That's GitHub. Okay, so we go to GitHub, and this particular repo is a fork of PHP Mailer. It's actually updated more frequently than this one. So, and this is the official one according to the website I just showed you, which is this website. Okay, so I'm going to be downloading it as a zip file, and then I'll be renaming the folder, and then putting it in my includes. The entire folder is going to go in my includes in the No Framework Project or Bus Compa Project. Actually, on GitHub, it's the No Framework. Yeah, I went ahead and did what I said I was going to do. I went to the GitHub page, the Synchro PHP Mailer. I did the download and I unzipped it. And after I unzipped it, I renamed it. Okay, and then I moved it to. No framework includes right there. So here it is. And I'm looking at it here at the command line. And as you can see, the permissions, for example, on this PHP file are 755 permissions. So I went to the BTB sandbox and I got send email to .php. I made a copy of it. I put it over here on my desktop and I opened it up. The first thing I want to say is that notice that for email addresses for the to and from, the names and email addresses are two separate variables. Okay, see, we have a to name and a two. One is the name and one is the email address. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the send email to dot PHP. I'm going to put that in my no framework repository in the project and it's going to go in web admin Okay, just like I put the send email.php, I'm going to put the send email to.php. I'm going to put it in there. Okay, and then I'm going to change, I'm going to shamat it because, well, okay, let me just check the permissions. Okay, I can tell there's a difference. They have it as executable. Okay, so let me do shamad. And it's send email to dot PHP. Okay, now it's like the other ones. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that file, send email to. I'm going to make it, you know, have all the same boilerplate as send email.php. All right, here it is. I copied the boilerplate, which is basically all of this stuff over here, got copied to over here. And this over here got copied to this over here. So the only difference between these two pages, besides the fact that I've change the title is the code that's right over here. Now, there is one thing that's missing because this code won't work. 
I haven't figured out how I'm going to include the PHP mailer classes. Now, and I could include them in initialize.php, but I'm going to go and read up on this uh, because they talk a lot about the autoloader. And I may want to use the autoloader because I don't want to always be loading the PHP mailer classes if the code is not going to be using them as it is over here. See, we do new PHP mailer. Then I don't want to be including the classes for PHP mailer. So I'm going to research this and come back. Just to let you know, I did tidy this thing up a little bit more. I fixed the, the spaces here and instead of having variables up here and then using the variables to assign to the attributes, I just took the attribute, the strings and put them right in front of the attributes right here. So just wanted to let you know.